right, let's take a look. Um, I should mention that I bought this with my own money from HSN. And so this is uh, the packaging, how I got it from them. It may be different depending on where you buy it. This is telling me that I got the Create Printer, an ink cartridge, a power adapter, a download code, and uh, oh yeah, made in Malaysia. Here's my little um, download instructions for my device. So I'm gonna hold on to that. So here in the box, it's actually super cute packaging, but it's got some tape, so let me open that up. So this says you can print directly on paper, wood, ribbon, cardboard, fabric, and more. I cannot wait. So let's take a look at this little box. For this next portion, I decided to speed up the video a little bit because this took me about 15 minutes in real life and you don't want to spend that much of your life watching me. So here I am finishing the unboxing and it comes with a power cord, the ink cartridge, the unit itself, and then that oval docking station that you see on the far right hand side. So you do have to put the ink in yourself and charge it up before you can use it as well as download the app. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, in double time. The first thing you have to do is you have to remove the outside cover and actually inside there's another cover with that little latch and because I have horrible fingernails I actually had to go and get a little tool a little screwdriver would be fine um, but that just helps me pry off uh, the ink cartridge cover and you can see there that it's basically hollow inside and then there's this little flap on the bottom you have to push out and it pops down and that will allow you to go ahead and load your ink cartridge. Now it's a three color ink cartridge. Um, you have to remove the little covering. There's a little piece of plastic that goes over the print head in the very front and then you'll go ahead and insert it into the machine all the way and it clicks. Um, you want to make sure that it's flat and not like angled down or to the side and once it's in you can snap that bottom back up and everything will be flat and flush. Then you go ahead and you pop the ink cover back on and it will click into place. It's very satisfying. And then finally you replace the outside cover and um, get the charging station ready. So it's just a simple thing. You plug it in. Um, you go ahead and it's going to need to be charged. And one of the things I didn't realize right away was that you have to turn it on underneath. So once your phone and the machine itself are communicating with each other, it goes pretty quick from there. You'll find that in the menu there are a bunch of ready-made projects and they're all categorized by quotes and sayings and celebrations, whatever. Inside you've got ones that are good for um, like gift tags or repeating ones for their washi tape or ribbon feature. So I thought we would just start off with something really simple. It's called Butt First Coffee and this is just a piece of text weight paper. And when the image is sent to the machine, to the eMark, it beeps and it lets you know it's ready and then it beeps at the end to let you know it's printed. Oh yeah, no. Wow. Okay, okay the next one I want to try is one of these ones that has like three different things to it because um, it requires a different version of it. You've got to go down and around. So I am going to just hit the little button that says send it. And that little beep tells me it's listening. Okay, it says no notification that says it received it. So I don't know, let's see if it's printing that one yet. No, it did not get it. Let's try it again. And it says, beep, beep, it was sent. Okay, and I've never done this version, so this is gonna be weird for me. Or not. Oh. Okay, I totally messed that up, but let's try it again. Okay, ready? Oh, 
Well, check that out. Now, obviously, I don't know how to go on a straight line because it's a little backwards, but here's what it's supposed to look like, and that's what I got. Okay, I wanted to play around with this idea of a continual mark, so I um, am going to select continual marking on this kind of um, little floral vine, and I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and send it. All right. Oop, I went all the way off under my table. That is so cool, hold on. Oh, I can even, now you can bend it, but it's gonna get a little crazy, but that makes sense too, right? All right, so, um. The last thing I'm going to do for this portion of the review is just see if I get water on it, what happens. Um, because a lot of us like to use like stamps and whatnot, or maybe we would want to go ahead and do this on another surface. But just initially, this is wet and it is not smudging. All right. Well, that, there's a little bit of something that's bleeding out. There's a little bit. We're gonna have to explore some more. All right, so this is the initial um, unboxing, setup, and overview of the Colop, is that how you say it? I don't even know how you say it. The little e-printer from We Are Memory Keepers. Here it is, it's the, I'm gonna call it the e-mark create because I just like that better. Um, and stay tuned because our next video is going to be trying it on multiple surfaces. And I know you're going to stay tuned for that. So thank you for watching. Uh, we would love it if you would like this video and or subscribe. Uh, check out some of our other related unboxing and setup videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a crafty day.